Hey, Nebby Lock by 184 here, and welcome to another music reaction. Today, we are reacting to Slow Love Slow by Nightwish. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Very glad you're here. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. I am equally as glad to see you here. Glad anybody is here who decides to stop by. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this. If you enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button. Feel free to comment and even subscribe to the channel. They help the channel out greatly. And I thank you all for the support you've already given me. So I'm going to say this. I am really enjoying diving more into Annette's era of Nightwish because uh, a lot of the videos that I see so many people really request or suggest involve either Tarya or Floor. Uh, which makes sense because if i understand they both probably have a larger catalog with nightwish so it definitely makes a lot of sense that they have more in there that more people are familiar with so it's nice for me to see what it was like with annette at the helm so to speak in terms of the vocals and the one thing i have to say and um as i said in my last video i completely understand how some people kind of maybe fell away from Nightwish a little bit after Tario left because it is definitely a different sound. But that is what I really love because even though it's different, I don't see it as worse. You know, it's just some, something to me about a group that can really expand, I guess you could say. I don't know if evolve is the right word, but the fact that they aren't strictly, you know, the sound that they had with Tarya and the fact that they can go into a net which from what I feel I don't want to necessarily say is more poppy in a way but it's definitely I would say slower a little more gentle um not even keel but you know it's definitely different definitely not as hard as what you're used to seeing with uh Tarya but it works just as well and sounds just as good so I have been very excited to really see more of what um, the songs she did are like. And I have enjoyed every single one so far. I mean, I still have to say, I think probably with uh, Annette outside of story time, my next one for her would probably be uh, Turn Loose the Mermaids. That song was so beautiful. And she had the perfect voice for a song like that. You know, I'm sure Tarya could have done really good with it. I'm sure Floor would do really good with it. But something about Annette's voice, it just fit that song like a glove. And that was such a beautiful song. Um, so based on the title of the song, this feels like it might be another slower number. But if there's anything I've learned about Nightwish is that if I go in thinking that it's going to be one type of song, they're going to come completely throw me off this could be a really fast hard number for all i know so even though the song kind of suggests it might be a slower number i'm just going to prepare myself for the complete opposite so i'm not absolutely you know flabbergasted and floored by the time you know we get midway through the song and my brain is just incapable of giving any intelligible thoughts so we're going to go ahead and get started right into the song. I will leave a link to the original song in the description below from what it looks like. It's a, a clip compilation, so it's not like music video, concert performance. It's a mix of all. I think it was, I don't want to necessarily say a fan-made video, but I will leave a link to the original uh, video I'm reacting to in the description below, and let's go ahead and get started. Hmm. All right, so seems like it's starting off as a slow number, but doesn't mean it's going to stay that. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, listen to that. Dude, they went straight jazz on us here, didn't they? I'm here for it, though. Okay. Wow. This painting with me. Okay, maybe not so much in that clip, but the first clip. Oh yeah, jazz. Wow. 
Alright, I'm not gonna lie, this is impressive. Going Marco in there too, it works. Wow. Wow. This is definitely not what I expected. Southern blue, morning dew. Let down your guards. I love you. Ice cream castles, lips to ear rhymes. A slumber deeper. This number right here is like straight out of a jazz video. My goodness. I even love how she introduced him. Like completely in character with the style of the song. And, oh my goodness. I know I say it every time, but oh, this man is such a treasure. I love this man. Look at him go. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Dude, that is a very interesting mix right there. I was impressed with the symphonic metal mix, but like a jazz and metal mix? That's a first. I've never heard anything like that before. All right, so she does have some chops, okay. Wow. Wow. All right, y'all. That was Nightwish, Slow Love Slow. And man, where do I even start with this one? So you know how I said, um, besides Story Time, because Story Time is probably going to always be my favorite Annette number, but... Um, I think Turn Loose the Mermaid may have gotten supplanted. Not by much, mind you, but this was not what I expected. I did not expect to hear Nightwish do a jazz number, and you know what? I am here for that. That was fantastic. I love the mix. Annette nailed that. Holy crap. And like I said at the end, you know, she got some chops, you know, herself. And I will always credit Tomas for, you know, his compositions and all that and making it fit so well. But 
everything fit there. And then the bit where they had, you still heard the, you know, the jazz bass and everything like that. But then with MP's guitar, where it got more hard rock metal on there, never before had I heard a mix like that. I don't even know if anyone's even attempted to do such a thing. And that by itself deserves to have some, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, com not commendation. I'm just going to say props. <laughs> they deserve props for having the guts to do something like that. Because it's something I've never heard of. Something I'd never even imagined being done. And, oh man. And even the clips where they're showing where they're like even like, Rest the part on that I mean they hit that so well too oh my goodness Whew. man yeah that's definitely probably going to be uh, my uh, second fave for uh, Annette you know in her era granted uh, Turn Loose the Mermaids may you know quickly you know overcome that it's just it's one of those things and I know I've seen so many people say you know, it's like your favorite Nightwish song is the last one you listen to, and that's a completely valid thing to say because it feels like every time I do a new Nightwish reaction, like my, even my whole top 10, you know, gets taken because then I get to the part where it's like, well, if something's gotta go down, but it's like, what goes down? Because it's like, this deserves to be, you know, in this spot, but do I really wanna move this one down? You know what I mean? It's like, how do you really decide your favorite? You know, and sometimes it just may or, you know, more or less just might be whatever mood you're in. But, and one thing I do want to touch on is because in my last one, in the Slaying the Dreamer reaction I did, I remember, um, I don't remember uh, who it was, but it was one of the first comments I saw in there where they were talking about um, Taria and Marka with their um, vocals and how they were talking about how they're like blazes, whereas Taria is a lot more per precise whereas Marco is like a berserker and that is definitely an analogy that is completely accurate but then I go from that to this and Marco's vocal ability his range you know what he's able to do the fact that he was able to do such a nice harmony with Annette on a song like this that is also why I found myself, whenever I do reactions of Marco's in it, I really try to show him some love too. But, I mean, how can you not watch anything or listen to anything in Nightwish and not want to give love to everybody involved? Because it's one of those things where if one of those pieces was missing, it would definitely lose something. And I don't care what ear it's in. You know, you lose something when you lose one of those pieces. and. You know, a credit to the group as a whole that when they did have to replace pieces, they found pieces that maybe they weren't exactly the same. I mean, I know I talk so much about Yuka's energy when I'm watching him on the drums, but then when he had to get replaced, um, you know, even though you didn't get the same feel, you at the same time didn't feel like you lose anything. And that's just a credit to you know, the whole camp on there that when they do have to replace somebody, they find the right person to fill that void and they make sure, which is a huge credit that it's not a carbon copy of whoever it was um, they're, you know, taking the place of. Um, I, I try to use the word replace um, very carefully because, you know, maybe I should call them successors because you know, one doesn't just simply replace Yuka. One doesn't simply replace Marco. You know, even looking at the original basis where I forget uh, which uh, concert series it was that I was also reacting to during the Taria years. But um, for some reason, I was just under the impression Marco was the original basis until I started watching those older performances and found out, no, Marco was not the original one. But even he, you know, had his own thing that he brought to it. And Marco, while he brought something else, you know, it wasn't like he was better or anything, you know. And I try to be careful when I say that because, you know, I'm not saying the original was better than Marco or vice versa. I'm just saying that he brought something different and, you know, he just, he, he succeeded that man well. As did Annette with Taria and then Flora with Annette and... You know, everybody that has been, you know, in this rotation, it's 
you know, I never feel like I'm missing out on anything. Sometimes, yeah, I like to see Yuka going a little crazy on the drums, but you know, at the same time, you know, his successor has definitely filled the void well. But man, this was such a great number. And just like I said at the very beginning of the video, you know, I thought I had an idea that I was thinking, okay, so it sounds like it might be a slower number, but it's probably a quicker number. But never in my wildest dreams did I think it was going to be a jazz number. So even though in a way I felt right, but then once I started hearing that bass a little bit and then the drums, I'm like, they're really doing this. So props to them for that. That was absolutely fantastic. I enjoyed it a lot. I loved it. And I hope you all um, enjoyed that as much too. So um, in the meantime, if you guys would like to, feel free to click on one of these cards over here. You can check out all of my other Nightwish reactions and feel free to check out any other music reactions I've done. Thank you all for stopping by and I will catch you all down the road.